Class Zero, it's me. See that switch in front of you? I think you know this already, but you're free to suppress any resistance. Now! What? The device is still operational? Impossible! They're using magic right in front of us! Upstairs! Prepare to deploy! Yeah. Imperial troops are descending. Eliminate them and board that ship. Take it out. Take this. Take back out. Right. 
Yeah, I saw. It looks like its power is returning. Come on, Machina. All right. Magic has been restored in some areas. Anyone who can still fight, gather in front of the facility. Vessel 6 has been confirmed destroyed. Looks like we have an anomaly on our hands. What about the 401st and 903rd? I can't reach either company, sir. 
keep trying. Sir! Byakuya 10! Byakuya 10! This is Kusabi. Bring me that survivor. The one from the 161st. Sir! Corporal Boz of 161st. So, you are certain you saw the enemy using magic? Yes, sir. My understanding is that after witnessing this, you fled from the battle. Then your unit was annihilated. Is that correct? Yes. I, I felt it was my duty to report. In a Militesi army, we do not tolerate soldiers who flee from their fear. The 161st Company was wiped out by Dominion magic. Clean us up. Sir! So even the sea like Kune cannot keep the Vermilion Bird Crystal in check. Hmm? Well, this sucks. Where'd these rats crawl out from? sucks. Try something new. Let's end this right now. Now then.
Is this the power of a Lassie? Roger that! This ought to be quick. Who are you people? Those red cloaks. No way. N Ninetail is down! Communication lost with Kunmi! Impossible! What's going on out there? The Vermilion Bird Crystal is fully restored. Magic readings in all sectors. Wait, point 68. A Lassie? A Vermilion Bird Lassie! I've lost contact with the 204th and 208th! Get our men out of there! Attention all units in Dominion territory! Halt all military operations! And withdraw at once! Retreat! Retreat! Send HQ a code 991. We're transitioning to Operation Northern Dawn. Sir! come this far just to be turned back. Six hours into the operation, Rubrum's Agito Cadet Class Zero achieved its objective, and the Dominion succeeded in taking back its territory. It was here that Class Zero made its first mark in the pages of history. Misfortune has befallen academia and the Dominion at large. The Militesi Empire has broken the Quadripartite Crystal States Pact, which was forged through the courage and wisdom of our forebearers. Because of this deplorable, gravely unwarranted and unforgivable breach of faith, we have all lost many friends and loved ones. And yet, here I stand before you, proof that your strength of heart, your pure and noble desire to protect our beloved Rubrum and the Vermilion Bird Crystal was strong enough to win academia back from our enemy. I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to the valiant warriors who accomplished this great feat. However, we must also not forget those who fell in this terrible battle. We shall drive out 
The Militesi forces that still unlawfully occupy our territories and liberate our villages, cities, and citizens that continue to suffer at the hands of the Empire. Rubrum is not in this alone. All of Orients must confront this challenge. I hope that you will all remember this as a new... Chancellor! Anathemic readings in Lorca. What? <sighs> One day, historians may refer to this as Tempest Finis. Hmm. Nonsense. This is not the beginning of the end. It is the first ray of hope, one that we've brought forth. In 842 RG, an Ultima bomb, powerful enough to obliterate an entire continent, was dropped on the Black Peristilium in Lorica. In the blink of an eye, the Lorican Alliance, which had stood proud for 700 years, was completely erased from the continent of Orients. Raise the Vermilion Banner. Fearing an attack with a second Ultima bomb, the Kingdom of Concordia, home to the Azure Peristilium, began defending the airspace over its territory and that of the Dominion of Rubrum. Concerned the war might spread to other nations, Concordia sought an immediate cessation of hostilities, but was rejected outright by the Dominion of Rubrum. With large portions of land occupied by the Empire, the Dominion was reluctant to accept a ceasefire, as that would be a silent concession to the Empire's act of aggression. The Consortium of Eight, Rubrum's supreme ruling council, spent several days debating how to recover their lost territory. With our force's current state, do you really believe we can defeat the Empire in a full-scale conflict? We'll have to abandon our outer territories and focus on defending the capital and retaking key strategic areas. We can make up for our disadvantage in numbers with the sea. The Empire already unleashed the sea on us during this invasion. We're lucky that it wasn't a Primus. If they want to throw dirt at us, I say we just throw it right back at them. My, you've quite the sense of humor. Do you really think a lessee would accede to the wishes of the Consortium? Why not? The Vermilion Bird Crystal was attacked by an enemy lessee. It was put in danger. There's no way that its lessee could refuse to aid us in this situation. And if the Lassie operated by that logic, you might actually have a point. Only the Vermilion Bird Crystal has the power to direct the Lassie to help us. And the wills or wants surrounding that do not a productive discussion make. Might I offer a suggestion? I understand the cadets who were involved in the liberation of the capital were unaffected by the Jammer and manage to repel the White Tiger Lassie. Can we create more soldiers with the same magic technology used to create them? Sorry I'm late.
You can't simply repeat what I've done with the children. And the tech itself is classified. Disclosure is out of the question. <sighs> Dr. Aratia, have you learned anything about the Crystal Jammer? Very little, I'm afraid. I can say with certainty, though, that no human could operate the gem. It would take a lessee. However, my scanners haven't detected any major disruptions since Lorica's little disappearing act. Based on the data, I believe that something has happened to the lessee, and the jammer is inoperable. Even if that's true, do you have an actual plan to get us out of this current mess? Just deploy the cadets. Huh? I believe that is the best way to turn the tide of battle without compromising our defenses. Uh, undeniably, the Agito cadets would make for a potent implement of war, but... Would it not be seen as an expansion of the role of those defending the Peristylian? Ow! Oh. If the sea won't help us, what choice do we have? Very well. Shall we defer to the Chancellor's judgment? The Dominion's very existence is imperiled. Each of us will be put to trial. Even the Agito Cadets. And if Rubrum is at stake, they would welcome those challenges. Very well, then. Shall we make it official?
Hey, you eat yet? <laughs> All right, let's cut through the formalities. I am now your commanding officer. Kurosame. Commanding officer? Yes. As of this moment, you are under my command. The authorization came directly from Arch Sorceress Oratia Alratia. From Mother? Hey. Take a hike, yo. We only take orders from Mother. Got it? You're not wanted here, yo. <laughs> Of a bitch that hurt. Why That's you? enough. Ooh, this guy is pretty tough. Not for long. He said it was Mother's decision. Are you saying you won't follow Mother's orders? Satisfied? Good. Henceforth, you will execute Dominion missions under my command. When you have no assignment, you will live here, at Academia, with the other cadets. On campus? Yes. We never had to do that before. Why start now? Does that come from Mother, too? Yes. Those are Dr. Horatia's orders. Hmm. Also, Cadet Machina, Cadet Rem, enter. Two new cadets have been assigned to Class Zero, starting today. Machina Kunigiri, hello. Rem Tokimia, nice to meet you. Let me guess, chaperones? Your time is yours until you receive further orders. I have high hopes for you. May the crystal guide you. Good to see you again. Thanks for the assist the other day. Yeah. Thanks so much for helping us out. Seriously, though, I can't believe Class Zero is real. Why, 
My friends and I were sure yourselves were just one of Academia's urban legends now we were. And you're so powerful. Just three of you took down a Lassie. Oh, which reminds me. Why were you able to use your weapons in that? Help you? Starting today, I'll be relaying mission information and instructions from the Dominion. I am the Military Operation Organization and Guidance Logistics Expert. Moogle for short, Kubel. Some prefer to call me the Military Operation Guide or MOG, Kubel. You can call me whatever you want. I hope to be of service, Kubel. Whatever I want? How about... Moglin! 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 Lin! N no Kubo! No Lin, Kubo! B -b besides I do have a proper name, Kubo. Hmm? What is it? Atskamine Lotayosna Iribochi, Kubo? Hmm? That's too hard. Moglin's good enough! G -g good enough? There. I don't believe we've met before. <laughs> My name is Deuce. King. Are you? What? Arya. So your name is Arya? Hey, you eat yet? How may I enlighten you? What is this place? It's called a cemetery. What's a cemetery? Here we carve the names of the fallen, so their legacies may live on. Because we are unable to retain memories of those who die before us. But I heard that the crystal removes our memories to help us. So that the living will be tied down to the dead. That's why we leave our knowing tags behind before we go to battle. As proof that we live. If no one comes to pick up a tag, it means that person died. Then that name is engraved here. As the name of someone who died for the vermilion bird. I always make sure to write down the names of everyone that I meet or go out on a mission with. Then after a mission, I check to see if there are any names I don't recognize. If there are names there that I don't remember, then I come here and look for the people I once knew. But I still can't remember them.
I'm busy. Please make it quick. Terminal, Kubao. A what? Relic. An artifact shrouded in mystery. Said to be born of the Vermilion Bird Crystal. I've heard it has the power to manipulate time and space. That's according to some legends, Kubao. In the Dominion, we sync them with magic and use them for data input and communication, Kubao. You can save your data. And such, Kubao. If I'm not mistaken, Cadets can do all of that with the naturally occurring relics all over the world. That's right, Kubao. If you find one, you should check it out, Kubao.
You look well.
Feeling good? How may I enlighten you? Can I help you? What is it? Seems like I'm always running into you guys. Hmm? We're in the same class at the same academy. Of course we see a lot of each other. Yeah, I know, but... Actually, I had no idea that Rem was even in the Dominion. If only I had known you were here, Machina. I would have tried to get in touch with you. I would have. I can't believe we kept missing each other for two months. You two actually knew each other before coming here? Rem and I? We're from the same village. We saw each other at a drill. I hadn't seen him for seven years. I knew it was you. You haven't changed. Look at you. I was surprised by how tall you'd gotten, Makina. When we were back in the village, you were shorter than I was. <sighs> yeah, like I said, you haven't changed.
What? Big brother, I'm, I'm in class zero now. The legendary class zero. Makina. I was reporting to my brother. Not that I have any memories of what he was even like anyway. Your brother died during a successful mission. He was protecting the Dominion after all. But it's weird. What is? According to the records, he wasn't part of the Capital Liberation Campaign. Huh? Then why... The authorities wouldn't tell me anything. He was on the battlefield? Without being deployed? That. Or he was on a top-secret mission that they couldn't keep on record. He's your brother, Makina. I'm sure whatever he was doing, he did his best. I'd like to think that, but why would he be on the front lines? Brother, why did you die? Oh, I have
have a special message on my comm. Special message? Yes. It appears that the Moogle is calling us all to a meeting. Hmm. So let's go back to the classroom and ask the Moogle what it's about. Yes. And, uh, what's a comm again? Oh, it was the name of the communicator that was issued to us. Crystal Oriented Messaging Media is what the letters in COM stand for, or so I'm told. At ease. Get to Let's work. go. We're counting on you. Good luck.
Class Hurry Zero, close the gate. beginning mission. Wait! It's all you. It's my turn. You're mine. You called?
Let me help. I got this. It's all you. It's my turn!
I'll help. They broke through? Mission complete.